as many zombies as I can bring in. Whoa, that's so cool looking. That doesn't look like it belongs in Terraria. Wow, that actually hurts. Oh, damn, that's cool. Hey, yo, everyone, welcome to another big Terraria mod update video. The split mod got another big update. This update, I believe, is called the Fighting Cold update. And last time we checked out the split mods update, it was pretty nice. It was a lot of good content, a couple new features. It was dope. We're here again because, you know, I really like this mod. I believe this is definitely one of the better mods out nowadays in terms of, you know, keeping things fresh and new. And it also has some of my favorite looking sprites and animations in any mod but yeah let's check it out we're starting with some weapons here you guys should probably watch the last video if you haven't because some of these things might be confusing because we've gone over them in the last video and i assume you know somewhat about the split mod but we're starting with the rackets if you guys remember the split mod has a racket class and they added some more new rackets uh, i might miss a bunch of items here and there there's not like exactly a change log of everything that's added in and you know what's been tweaked so i'm definitely gonna miss some stuff today but let's get to it we're starting with the rack is call of cthulhu summons an eyeball that can be tossed falling below 50 percent hp causes the eyeball to dash into nearby enemies right click to slash without creating a ball yes sir let's spawn in an enemy here a couple enemies and let's hit them with my balls let's put my balls in their jaws something like that very cool i like how it looks like uh we have to drop to 50 percent health what is the best way to do that we fly up and then we drop don't kill me though ah there we go okay okay one more time should be good boom below 50 percent health all right now let's see it in action something about like it's supposed to dash oh it like turns into like phase two i cthulhu look at that so instead of it just being a little eyeball that's the ball now we got the eyeball with the mouth beautiful and then look my health is back up above 50 and is back to the regular eyeball very nice all right up next we got the crab kit summons three bubbles which can be tossed bubbles have a chance to explode let's see it in action here bring in the zombie boys and let's see the bubbles let's see the bubbles okay we're seeing the little explosion every now and then let's summon in a bunch more the explosion does an area of effect damage which is very very nice you know good for taking out crowds of enemies next up we got the bead beaten racket go ahead bring in the boys wait i didn't read what it does summons a hive ball that can be tossed okay very simple a hive ball and i'm assuming just bees are gonna come out that's usually what happens with uh, most bee items is bees come out understandable really because like what else are you gonna send out with a bee item i don't know i guess you could like hit enemies with like honey slow them down or something there's not too much you can do with bee theme stuff or maybe there is a lot you can do with bee theme stuff and nobody has touched it yet yeah next up we got the hard mode rackets the malice mode summons two saws which can be tossed and pierced enemies capable of dealing damage multiple times cool 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 we'll bring in a bunch of zombies and as you can see it is piercing and it is doing damage multiple times destroying that horde of enemies on to the next nitro racket this is a supporter weapon i believe there is a good bit of supporter weapons we're gonna see uh summons three pixelated fireballs that can be tossed one of the balls will split into six upon striking an enemy all right let's see it as many zombies as i can bring in whoa that's kind of cool i like that very very cool effect like i said earlier this mod has some of my favorite animations and favorite looking sprites very talented team behind them be out after that we got the heavy weapons if you guys remember these or the heavy swords i believe this is a little subclass right here the rackets are just you know they're part of melee but the heavy weapons here these are a subclass and there's some new ones again i might be missing some of the new ones but i tried my best to find the ones on the wiki that did not have like a page you could go to that's usually how i find out if something's new if there's no wiki page i could click on it's probably new all right i believe these are all hard mode heavy swords we're starting with this one laser brand just says deals damage multiple times let's see it in action oh now this is nice nice looking i like it i like how the animation when it's in your hot bar it like you know it's kind of like flashing is doing a little like a vibrance to it don't know what the actual word is called to explain that let's see it in action though oh i feel like i'm darth vader i feel like i'm kylo i feel like i'm luke on to the next one the leviathan striking enemies increases heavy melee speed increases move speed while held cool so we run a little bit faster let's get some enemies here and let's start slicing through i'm liking the noise that it makes it's really nice uh it just gives us increased melee speed so i'm assuming you know we swing on enemies we swing faster faster and faster the more we're attacking is what i'm assuming something along the lines of that next up is the scourge heals upon striking the enemy if enough power is stored power generates passively or if you strike an enemy while having full health interesting 
so let's see it in action here. Ooh, y'all saw the life steal. Let's go ahead. Let's take some damage here. Run into them a couple more times to get that life steal triggered. Very nice. On to the next one. The waster shatters enemies on impact. I expect this one to go crazy right here. Let's see it. Oh, very, very nice. I like screen shake. I love when mods add in screen shake. Gives the weapon a lot more power. If you guys watch the Eternals, it reminds me when Gilgamesh punches someone, bruh. Every time that dude was punching somebody, that motherfucker was laying out power. Shook the whole theater. All right, so there's also a couple of summon weapons added in. We're gonna start with this one. This one just seems like a utility summon. Fungus Rod summons the big fungus that boosts life and mana regen for all players around it. Nice, I love the noise it made amazing all right well we got that in the background uh let's read our next staff here almost royal staff summons a traveling princess to fight for you let's see it where is she cool this is a reference to something it is from a donator or a supporter so i'm assuming it's a reference to something that or a reference directly to the supporter let's see it in action Ooh, giving me some like gungeon vibes all right on to the next we got the scarlet staff also a supporter weapon summons a bloodthirsty vampire to destroy anything for you double tap w to unleash the vampire form attacks in this form heal you interesting okay hold on let's get rid of her and then double tap w so now it's in vampire form cool cool all right let's just see it in action i just want to see it in action very cool attacks very very unique attacks and they're running off of the screen it's all good uh it has a cooldown as you can see there's a cooldown so that means i can't do the vampire form uh i guess we'll check that out in a second when the cooldown's gone on to the next one the key rod summons mimi the mimic to attack nearby foes all right mimi you better help me out here you got some clothes on in there what the hell are you doing oh shit okay is this like a century because look i can't use these two at the same time it's all good look at the animations though bro i'm telling you this mod is killing it with the animations all right fuck them up mimi Oh, she throwing stuff at him. Rotted Discord, hold up. Can you throw one to me? I might need that in the playthrough. But yeah, she just throws a bunch of weapons at him. That's really cool. I like that. Very, very nice. Super detailed in the animations. I love it. This thing is still not off of cooldown. So like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe we won't check out the vampire form against enemies it's all good let's move on all right so all these other weapons are just a couple of new weapons that they added in uh we're just gonna show them off not gonna go through all the new stuff they added in again kind of hard to figure out all the new stuff i grabbed what i could maybe this stuff isn't even new but yeah zombie let's start with that one let's start with this one solaris i'll just borrow some heat from a star real quick yeah some light some light just borrow it whoa whoa whoa, whoa. that is not what i expected i thought this was a yo-yo it looked like a yo-yo does it not look like a yo-yo but instead it's way better than a yo-yo oh my god that's so cool looking that doesn't look like it belongs in terraria <laughs> starlight river vibes right away all right dead man saw this one doesn't really say too much let's see it in action here cool <laughs> all right the swapper creates an aura that buffs you and your nearby allies right click to change the aura effect all right so that's the regular left click. Let's use that on some enemies real quick. Ooh, look at the little effect. That's awesome. And the lizard right click to change it. So now we have a healing is increased one. Damage and crit rates increase. And then we got a defense one. Very, very cool. Next up, we got the frost flake fan. Hold to create an icy swirl that sucks in nearby enemies and items. Embrace the ice. All right. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Am I out of mana? Oh, I'm out of mana. Let me go in guard mode. Just so we can see it for a while. Look at this. This is awesome. All right, next up, the pursuer. Hold to make it follow your cursor. Hold. So it's just like the, uh, what was that, flying knife? Let's see it in action. These enemies might be way too strong. Because <laughs> I think this is a pre hard mode weapon. There we go. Cool. It's like a pre hard mode flying blade, flying knife, whatever that weapon's called. All right, there were the weapons. We are moving on to the next thing which is the addition of a bunch of new album entries if you guys remember this is whole like photography kind of pokemon snap like feature and it's really really cool as you can see we still got the pictures because we're using the same character we got the pictures from last time with the bunny the mortar crab and as you can see there's a lot more and i really like this feature it's very unique very cool fun little side quests you could do and uh, i picked a bunch of them here not all of them. I picked a bunch just to show off. Uh, a lot of them are really, really cool looking. This one reminds me of the moon from Legend of Zelda. What is this? This is the meteor head one. Uh, we got this one. Funky soul. 
I don't know what that is, but he does look funky. We got this one, Fortress, which is one of the enemies from the mod. Very cool. We got this one, Goblin Summoner. Nice, amazing. We got a Mimic. Very, very cool looking. We got a Moth, also cool looking. We got a Shark, that boy Bruce. Is that his name? <laughs> we got a, what the hell was this? A Goldfish? Literally. We got, what the hell is this thing? Great Toxic Sludge. He looks funny. I know they're happy, but I didn't know he was that happy. And then we got a penguin. <laughs> so this one, this next change, there's been rebalanced armor stuff. There's prefixes, something like that. They're cheaper. The bonuses are more fair. That's exactly what I'm reading from the change log that they have on their discord. Uh, I don't think we went over any of their armor in the original video, but there's some cool looking armor. Like this crab armor is really nice. Uh, we got this possess armor also looks really nice. I like how he only has one like glove on. Uh, we got this tectonic armor, also looks very nice. And then we got this armor. What was it? Zircorn. Got a little sword on our back, which is really cool. Next up, we're gonna check out a couple of the new enemies that adds in. I believe there's 12 new enemies added in. So hopefully I find all the ones that they added in. All right, so there's only four enemies. There's supposed to be 12 new enemies in total. But there's only four that I see that don't have a wiki page. Meaning that those four are for sure new ones, I hope. Starting with Gargul. And... Okay, well there he goes. <laughs> Let me turn God Mode off so I can get hit by him. Go ahead, Gargul. Oh, he came back! Wow, that actually hurts. What the fuck? Those are legit boulders. Alright, uh, hopefully they don't come back to... What is that? He dropping an anglerfish? Okay, that might not be as effective as a boulder. I think the boulder is more effective. I'm gonna have to stop you there, Gargul. Oh, he's bringing another enemy. No, 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 no. I don't know. Where are you getting these dudes from? All right, after that, there is the Knocker. I believe these are actually all uh, Blood Moon enemies. Knocker. Let's see them. What you about to do? Oh, shit, my bad. I had the God Mode book in my hand. Is that it? I, I don't know if he does anything else or what. He makes a little knocking noise every now and then good for him i'm assuming maybe if there's a door he does something to the door like tries to bash it open after that we have the threader or the threader i don't know he has a gun hello what are you gonna do with that gun sir uh hello <laughs> it's because it's not nighttime yeah i'm making nighttime wow it's really dark okay at least he shot at me at least he shot at me i might die hold up very cool hopefully you guys can see uh, the parts that matter the most, they go in the dark anyway, so you can probably see it. After that, we got a Halloween special enemy, the Jumpkin. Let me see him in action. You better not explode or anything. Uh, I think it's just like a slime. Don't, isn't there an enemy that's literally like this in the game? All right, anyways. So those are the ones I know for sure are new. Actually, no, here. We got a couple more. Non-Blood Moon enemies. This one right here, Combuster. Hold on, I can make it daytime. Combuster. Let me see him. Looks like an antline. Oh. A lot more dangerous than that line. Does that hurt me too? Ooh, very dangerous. What the heck? After that, we have honey. Boom. What do you do? Just a big ass bee? Okay. I see you. I see you. Cool. Ooh, look. It actually drops honey everywhere. Nice. All right. So how many enemies was that? That was one, two, three, four, five, six. That was six. Okay. Gets a little harder here. You know what? How about I just spawn in a bunch of enemies that look cool? This one looks really cool. Unfairy. It's a fairy with a pistol. <laughs> That's pretty cool. After that, let me show off the fortress. I don't remember if we saw this guy in the last video or not. This dude looks really cool looking. Does he attack? Is he a nighttime enemy? I have no idea. He's not really fucking with me right now. Maybe he is a nighttime enemy. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's cool. That's definitely some like Castlevania Metroid type vibes right there, bro. All right. He's dead now, though. I don't know. There's an enemy called Magneto. Let, let's see him. Magneto in action. What do you do? Got a little chain on me. Okay. Oh, he's sucking up my mana. Oh, look. He's sucking my soul. There's something called an idler. Like, again, I don't know if any of these are, like, from a previous update or maybe a smaller update from the last video. But, like, a lot of these enemies look great. They look cool as hell. So, even if they aren't new, you know, at least we get to see what they look like. What are you about to do with that? He's got, like, something on his back. You about to do something, bro? Did you got to run into me? All right, what if I kill you? Is that like thing on your back explode? I had a feeling. And shout out to Michael Jackson. Let's check out this last enemy here. Thriller. What you about to do? Do you do anything else? Oh, he goes invisible. Kind of reminds me of like a boo from uh, Mario. About to dash. What's he about to do? Oh. 
Okay, it wasn't the craziest attack. I, I could I could read it. Thought he was gonna like do a jump scare or something. I don't know. But yeah, again, I don't know exactly if uh, those were all the new enemies or what. Again, hard to tell. The underworld domain. Okay, I remember this actually. This is where we fight the mini boss. Uh, it might be a little framey. When I turn on full brightness, it gets extremely framey because Terraria is not used to this. Music also might be really loud. Let me summon in a mini boss here. All right, I think this is a mini boss in here. The overloader. Looks really cool. Definitely looks like he belongs here. On top of that, I believe this was the original boss we saw. It was the Breathtaker. The fucking son from Mario. <laughs> God damn, he's trying to break my speaker. Very cool looking mini bosses. Great animations like always. Alright, let's calm down though. Let's calm down though. I, I don't want to hear it. So one other major thing in this update is that a bunch of the bosses got new attack patterns and balance changes to make their fights more fun and enjoyable. Is that a rainbow sheep? So that's very nice to hear. I like when Terraria bosses are enjoyable and fun. That usually adds to it. Uh, I guess I'll show off all the bosses. Might as well. All the ones that were touched. I'm just looking at the, the change log. I think I'm supposed to free a boss here. You must free him from the iceberg found on the stranded ship. Okay, does anything in here look like an iceberg? Alright, either I'm blind or I'm not seeing an iceberg. Let's just spawn him in. I actually don't think... Well, I don't know. It said, didn't it say most of the bosses got new attack patterns? So maybe this dude got new attack patterns or not. I don't know. Those saw blades look like they're probably new. But look at the animations, bro. I can't get over the animations. I know we just saw Starlight River stuff. But come on, these are up there too. This is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna kill him though. <laughs> Cause he has cool animations when he dies too. Like, I'm debating here whether I wanna go over every single boss. Cause I do eventually wanna play through this mod one day. You know, it'd be a little bit of a spoiler if I did go through all of them. But I do it for the content, Seth. Seth got an overhaul. That's all we're gonna see of Seth, okay. <laughs> And then something about Mirage can only be fought at nighttime. All right, I'll make it nighttime. What does Mirage look like? Ah, cool. Let's just see some of the attacks. I like that attack. That looks fun to dodge. It looks fun to play around with. I could dodge that. I could dodge that. Easy. Dodging that. All right, it looks cool. You can, you can, you can die now. See you later. Oh, shit. Round of applause. Okay, I see you. I see you. But yeah, there you go. There was the recent split mod update. I probably missed a couple things. It's all good. I'll put the change log on the screen right here. You can read through it. But yeah, make sure to check out the mod. This is a great mod again. Didn't want to spoil some of the bosses because I want to fight them myself one day. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all next time.